All right, what's going on, my fellow realtors out there all over the world? So is it true that realtors have competition? Is it true that everybody you know around you has a real estate license and all of them are just competitors? What is your thoughts on that? Well, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on that. So I do believe, oh, in large part, realtors are not each other's competition, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, I get the reasoning and the logic behind it because a lot of people are like, well, I work for this brokerage, they work for that brokerage. You know, what about when we put in offers? There's like 50 other realtors I got to compete with to get this house. But the reality is there are more people who do not have a license than people who are licensed. The reality is a lot of you realtors are working together on referrals. And then it doesn't even matter what brokerage you're with. You'll refer an agent based on a relationship you have with that realtor or if they're within your brokerage or if they're at another brokerage who gives a good service to that specific needs of that client. Or the reason why you're not, you know, competition in my book is if you want to do host open houses. I've, I've been at, um, I've had realtors reach out to me that don't even work for my brokerage that want to host an open house, right? And I'm not a person that is like, hey, you don't work at the same brokerage as me, so no. I mean, yes, I prefer to have someone on my team or my brokerage, but there are people that, you know, you work with that might not do open houses conducive to the goal that you're trying to sell and they're representing you at that time. So I will work with anybody who's professional and they're good. You know what I mean? I don't limit myself to just who I see around me, you know? So there are more ways that realtors can actually work together in this industry than sitting here looking at each other's competition. And the reality is whether you like it or not, um, I got a bug all over my phone. Whether you like it or not, uh, the reality is we have programs out here that are trying to, you know, take away from our business. So it make us irrelevant. You know, just like if you go to Walmart and you see self checkouts all over the place and they're minimizing the employee's purpose of physically being there, interacting while they're scanning your groceries. That's how real estate is. They're try they got machines trying to wipe out realtors and say, you don't need a realtor. You can go around it. So we, in our industry, we should be trying to work together to help our clients. Because at the end of the day, um, I could be a buyer's agent, you could be a listings agent and vice versa. I don't have to sit here and look at you as a competitor. Instead, both of us are the parties that represent them mutually because they could not sell the house or buy the house on their own. So when we work together, you know, we're, we're, we want to have our client's best interest, yes, but it is our job to educate these people because a lot of buyers and sellers are misinformed and they come, come into a huge transaction not knowing what they're doing and they need realtors' expertise to help them. So if we're bickering as realtors with each other, how the hell are we going to help them? What's our purpose? This is why I say in large part, I believe that we're not competitors, but we should be looking at it as, a, as professional licensed experts in real estate to help connect people to the house of their dreams. I hope this video helps. Have a blessed day.